What's going on everybody and welcome back to the fear of being average trading channel and today i have a very important video and i'm going to be going over how to set up a journal on Newsom and how my journal personally looks if you guys haven't heard me talk about it before a journal is very 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 important very important top top five things that every trader needs and should be doing if you're not doing it you're just only affecting yourself negatively so let's just get right on into it so right now the website i use which is free is all you gotta go to is notion just look on notion.com it'll be the first one organize your work so once you get to notion you're gonna be you're it's gonna be empty but the first thing you're gonna do is you're not gonna have any of these pages in here none of these you're only gonna have add a page so what you're gonna want to do in order for you to get a journal which is like mine which i'm gonna go over right now you have multiple different sections quarter four you have a journal just like this i have my pair that i trade the day the date of the trade i took it my trade grade so i basically i rate each of my trades from a to c a meaning i followed my rules and i was disciplined it was an a plus trade b i followed my rules but i wasn't disciplined it's a b trade and c i didn't follow my rules nor did i follow my discipline and that is a c trade which is bad then I also have my setup type, all the setups I look for, the confirmations that I had to get into this trade. I have all these presets. So all I got to do when I do this is just click each one that I is that matches the trade that I took. And as simple as that, I have whether I lost or won the trade or if it was a break even trade. I have the time frame in which I took the trade uh, that I, I saw the trade idea happen. I don't have the time frame that I took the trade on. I always take my trades on the 15 to 5 minute anyway. But the time frame, I basically have it. So whether I seen reason to believe this trade was going to happen on the 4 hour, 1 hour, I'll put all the time frames I saw reason to believe this trade was going to work out. Then I have my risk reward. Was this trade a 1 to 2, a 1 to 3, a 1 to 4? I don't go for 1 to 1. So that's why it's another option. 1 to 2 or more. I have my pip gain and my pip loss. So if I lose... A trade, I'm going to have how many pips I lost. And if I win a trade, I'm going to have how many pips I gained. I have my before and after pictures. So say for you go to after, I show the aftermath of me having a trade. Simple as that. And then I have notes to myself. I have, say for example, you didn't take profit when you should have. And now you lost a trade. Take profits the next time at one to two. Dumbass. So you know, I'm hard on myself. I'm hard on everyone else, but I'm also hard on myself. And as you can see, then I have the end of the week, how many pips in total I was able to gain. So as you can see, and then you just, this isn't all in my journal. I do have a lot more. So say for example, you come to my journal over here, you go to my quarter two. I have a whole bunch of trades, whole bunch of trades. Quarter one, this is right. This is a different chart. I started doing my notes like this around quarter two, 2021. So around maybe around may march of 2021 i started really journaling my trades so that's really what it comes down to guys what the trade looks like not to show you what the journal looks like so now i'm going to show you guys how i was able to make that so let me delete this over here you're going to go to make an add a new page and you're basically going to go to templates from here you're going to go all the way down to sales and sales assets and it's going to give you the same template that i personally have so you're going to want to click on use this template and from here this is where it's down to you on how you want it you could delete all of this you're going to want to delete all of these because it does come preset you're going to want to delete all of these you're going to want to delete all of these and now you're going to be able to take to turn this into anything you want at this point so say this is going to be a journal name it journal say we're going into 2022 journal for 2022 you can also add a cover an emoji whatever you want to add here you go you can add whatever you want as you can see in the shop over here i have all mines shown for something different and then from here like i said it's really up to you be creative with your journal because you want to have fun with your journal you don't want to have a boring ass journal you want to have a journal that makes sense you could delete a few of these also you can literally add whatever you want now, I'm going to show you guys a few things that you could add to make this a little bit more creative just to have fun with it and make it so you're not boring. You don't have a boring journal. You have a fun journal that's going to be also effective. So when you go to the top, 
you're gonna see property type and from here you're gonna be able to change them so property type you can make text meaning you can have one where it's text hey i lost a tree just that's an example you could type in so a text is usually what i use for the notes at the end of my at the end of my journal you also have a url in which i use for before and after pictures of the tree so for url you can put urls in here so for example let's say i go back to my chart over here let's just say i got my chart i take my screenshot or whatever i want to see take the screenshot in the top right corner i then go back to my over here and then i could put that right in here and then from here i'll be able to click on that screenshot and it'll take me to see it so this is a good way to get before and after pictures so you have a before and before and an after section just like i do and then you can also say go to here you can go to multi-select and this is where you add a whole bunch of things so this is what i use for my confirmation so say i have one hour order block as a confirmation i also have a two hour order block as a confirmation fib long and then i have maybe a 500 institutional level these will stay here forever and you could just make a list of every single confirmation you look for just every single one as you saw the ones that i have i have a confirmation for every single thing that i look for on a day-to-day -day basis just like this look at a confirmation 15 minute order block 30 minute order block one hour four hour daily order block 15 minute breaker block 30 minute breaker block one hour breaker block all the way daily fit long fit short for value gap fill asian range 50 percent asian range high Asian range low, I bought below 12 a.m., I sold above 12 a.m., 200, 500, 800, and 000 level, fair value gap blue used as support resistance, and a false break. I have a lot of confirmations, but I will never need to add anything else because these are the only confirmations I look for on a day-to-day -day basis. So and then you come back over here, you can make as many as you want. Like I said, be creative, have what you want. Then over here, you have and other things you have files media you can add pictures which i personally don't do and you can have select you can have numbers and with this this is what i use personally for my whether i lost a trade say i won the trade plus 25 pips or say i lost a trade i would do minus 25 pips something like that another thing you can actually do is you can have that date in which i was saying earlier that i have personally have so you can put that right over here name it as dates and then you can put the date of the trees that you're taking it makes it nice and easy because it has a calendar all you got to do is click the day and it puts it down for you what i like about having this journal on notion is it makes everything very simple and no this is not sponsored i wish it was i just personally like the way this is and i like to use it you can also have check boxes so say you can put whatever you can be very creative with this stuff guys you can be very creative with it this is really up to you at the end of the day and the first one i'll have the pair name just like that but you can have fun with this guys this is your journal everyone is different have your fun and mind you i don't only have just a journal over here so i'm going to delete this because uh you guys got the idea now but i also use it for my daily ranges and what is my daily ranges i have i started doing this on september 13th but what i do is every day i mark up the daily range and I also do my weekly range. So what do I do? I put the day. So say, for example, I took a trade Friday. I then, before I go to sleep, I will put in the daily range of Friday, which is November, say, 19th. I don't think it's Friday. I think this was Thursday. No, it was Friday. So this is Friday, November 19th. I will put the daily range as a screenshot. So just like down here, I will go to screenshot. I had the daily range. I have everything that happened and I had the daily bias of what the market was doing at the time. So I have this every single day. I mark up whether the daily range had a London continuation, whether it was a bullish or bearish day and did it run the, the buy side and sell side liquidity of the Asian range. That's what I personally look for on a daily range because this is what helps me understand my strategy and how what keeps me in tune. Everyone's different. But I have a daily range because this helps me. And I also have what I look for. I also have weekly ranges. So I put what happened during the week, the weekly high, the low of the week. And I have where the market opened and closed. And I show the candlestick. So I understand the weekly range. 
these are all things i personally do to help me develop as a trader and you can see i have a whole bunch of screenshots a whole bunch of screenshots you can go down you can find screenshots you can see this daily range you can see if i go to october 19th i can go to this daily range i have various screenshots of certain strategies working that are mine i only look for my setups on these daily ranges and whichever one shows i write it down so now the reason you put all these things down and you have all these things is because now you can sort them that's what's very important so say now i wanted to only look for i only look one to look for a london continuation so let's say london continuation i only want to look for london continuation moves it's going to show me only ones that have london continuation in them only the ones with london continuation and say i wanted to search for ones on bearish days i could look for the ones that only have bears and then say i wanted to look for one new york reversal it's going to show me only the ones that have new york reversal so you're able to have everything categorized and then you can look for what's working and the same thing works for the journal the reason i like this journal so much is because say i wanted to look for trades that were only being used with fib longs so now i can look at every trade taken with a fib long and now say i wanted to look for trades only taken on a 15 minute time frame it's only going to show me once taken on that 15 minute time frame and mind you you could add a whole bunch you could do 15 minute you could do a whole bunch you could do 30 minute you could literally do whatever you want to be creative that's why i love this journal so much and it's so simple and easy and free to use at the end of the day very easy but yeah, this is really it. This is the journal I use on a day-to-day -day basis. You can add a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm not going to go over it. Like I have my mentorship stuff, but you guys only see I have my goals for 2021, 2022. So the two main ones that you guys I recommend are doing is having a daily range. So having screenshots of every single day and then also having screenshots of every single trade you take, because this is only going to help you become a better trader overall. So honestly, hopefully you guys take advantage. Hopefully this video was helpful. I've gotten a few messages asking about my journal so i thought i'd make an updated video because the video i made previously i don't really use anymore so let's just this is my new way of doing it. i've been doing like this for a while and it's really helped me become beneficial towards my trading so hopefully you guys are able to benefit from the same thing i am so hopefully you found this video helpful hopefully you found it informative and hopefully you enjoyed it so make sure you be motivated by the fear of being average you like comment subscribe this video is helpful and i'll see you guys next video y'all take it easy